Never has any state government in 400 years of American history embarked on such an expansive effort of truth and reconciliation around the institution of slavery and its present day effects. California is leading the nation, a nation that frankly has moved far too slowly. California Attorney General Rob Bonta there speaking about the state's reparations task force. And the group has been touring the state, looking into the long lasting impact of slavery on African Americans and ways to make amends. And today they picked up their days long meeting in downtown Sacramento. So economists told the group that it could cost the state $800 billion to compensate black residents who qualify for generations of discriminatory practices. That's a second and a two, sorry, that is two and a half times the yearly state budget of $3 billion. But to add context to all of this, that's what was described as the economic loss due to the effects of slavery. So what the price tag would actually be is still very much under discussion. Now, some economists have proposed payments of hundreds of thousands of dollars to people, depending on things like age. So again, this is still being looked at. And in cities like San Francisco, they are open to paying eligible Californians $5 million each, but the jury is still out on what reparations should look like. I also want to know what you think. You can scan the QR code on your screen there and we'll share your thoughts. But I did hear from some people uh, that I met today at the meeting, at the Reparation Task Force meeting, that have been following this very, very closely, and they shared their thoughts with us today. But one of the main thing is missing that we don't talk about enough is the money. I was born in the cotton field. I was raised in the cotton field. Someone has to tell the truth. You know, there's so many lives out here. A lot of things is going on wrong. Help people and give people homes. Everything that has happened to our people has been an atrocity. To me, it's been enough already. There's visual evidence, there's evidence all over the place about what has occurred, what has happened to us, the atrocities that has happened to our people. We already know this has been a long time coming. This is deserving, you are deserving of this. We've already paid, our ancestors paved the way for us. And it's hard for black folk here to believe it. This has been a fight for over 500 years. It's time, the time is now. America must atone for what is taking place to our ancestors. And they're here for that atonement. This is our country, this is our land. To restore our dignity back, is a beautiful thing. We're pushing for reparations across the country. That's my main reason for being here. In health care, we need help. In education, we need help. We need to address housing. And we also need financial, financial compensation. I don't believe that it is totally African Americans' fault that they are poor. This was set in place from years ago. And we were brought here as slaves. We have purposely been kept away from money. We've purposely been kept away from the American dream. This is the process that you have to go through in order to get where you're going. And thank God we're finally doing it. Land is the most important because if we spend the money off, we what, what, we ain't got no land? No, we need land. This is about the voiceless, and it's about our future. You know, our future with our kids, you know. So when we leave here, we just gonna make sure that we did something. Now, not everyone approves of this. Critics say that the plan is impractical. Some even say that California was not a slave state, so why should California taxpayers pay the price? But of the dozens of people that called to weigh in on the meeting today, one person voiced opposition. We have developed an entitlement mentality and never has it been put on display more than with this disgraceful reparations board. The task force is still trying to determine some things like definitions, uh, things that like who should be considered a California resident to get reparations and how long should they have lived in California. And the task force, they are meeting again tomorrow and they have until July 1st to make that final decision. The task force will then make recommendations to the legislature and again, if you want to weigh on this, that QR code is on your screen. You can scan it. Let us know your thoughts. And we look forward to hearing what you think about all this.